I am now flooded with hundreds of loot boxes, and we are about to open them all. First, we have to figure out how we got here. Oh, I just lost 4 million gil. Dude, why am I at a nightclub? Ever since the beginning of Endwalker, this is something I had my eye on. This expansion brought two new items to the game, Material Container 3 and Material Container 4, purchased from your grand company. Inside each one of these containers is a random minion or mount from the Heaven's Ward or Stormblood era respectfully. This is 14's version of a loot box. Now, normally loot boxes are extremely predatory, taking advantage of consumers to spend a lot on certain chase items, which is exactly the case here. You see, I'm a mount collector. In fact, I've spent the last few years playing this game catching up and grinding away every single mount. And I am now one mount away. The Black Pegasus. Well, technically two, but I, I got the 100 totems, you see, see? Right here. So what counts? I'm effectively one away. This mount normally comes from high level sacks from Palace of the Dead. I'm talking floors 151 plus. In order to receive the mount, you need time, skill, and a little bit of luck in order to get it. That's six hours of intense mob grinding focus. However, there is an easier way. According to other players, this whistle also drops from one of these containers. Now, players can buy the whistle from the market board, but where's the fun in that? In fact, this mount goes from anywhere from 13 to 20 million gil, and if I can open it in one of these crates, I effectively save millions upon millions. So I decided to roll the dice, take my chance, and open up a Night Pegasus Whistle. In order to guarantee my success, I got a lot of loot boxes. Like, a lot. A lot. I spent 6.9 million Grand Company seals on loot boxes. And these boxes aren't cheap. They cost 20,000 seals every time for one box. To give perspective, in order to get Grand Company seals, you have a few methods. You can do their crafting and gathering provision tasks, or the more effective way is to turn in extra armor for generally a thousand plus seals per turn in. Now if we were to take an average value of 1500 Grand Company seals per item, that's roughly 4600 pieces of armor turned in. Now this requires either a disgusting amount of market board purchases, a ton of crafting, or a ton of dungeon runs. Now during this time period, I was luckily, well, Maybe lucky isn't the right word. I was working on the Mentor Astral Mount. This Mentor Mount comes from completing 2000 Mentor Roulettes. And in Mentor Roulette, you get a ton of dungeons. And yes, I am rolling on every single one of those pieces of armor. And with a little bit of quick math, I ended up with 245 version 3 containers and 100 version 4 containers. Now. The Pegasus Whistle only drops from version 3, but I decided to mix it up and roll the dice on both containers for fun. Because, surely, 245 boxes are enough for the Pegasus Whistle, right? Right? Alright, let's just get started. Alright, and this first one is... Huh. Oh. One moment, please. All right, now to reveal the first one. Is this it? Wait, a bullpup? I've never even seen it. What is this? I've never seen anybody use this in game before. What's this thing even worth? 15k! <laughs> oh, that's 20,000 seals down the drain. You know what they say, though? First is the worst, but second is the best. Let's go. No! <gasps> No, that's so insane. We got a mount on the second drop. <laughs> it's a zoo horn. Now, a zoo horn isn't bad. It, it's a mount that comes from the housing system. However, it isn't that desirable or difficult to obtain. Hopefully, it's worth a bit. Okay, 150,000. That's not bad at all. We take those. I mean, who could resist this face? Oh, I did forget to mention that I will be tallying up how much guild value I have opened up and I'll be sharing the grand total at the end of the opening. Well, let's keep cracking these boxes.
All right, so we've opened about half of the first inventory. Actually, how many boxes do I have left? Uh, yeah, I, I need to clean that up. We managed to score two zoo horn mounts already. We are definitely making some good money here, but still no nightmare whistle in sight. But then, <laughs> you think I'm your average player? No, I'm your below average player. We didn't uh, open up that whistle. But we just opened over a hundred boxes and managed to get over two million gil. We were definitely carried by the zoo horns and a couple of key minion drops. You see, some minions are so obscure that nobody ever gets them. Like the steam powered Gobwalker G7, which is at 89k. Or some minions are so popular that they're always in demand like the Calamari at 70,000 gil each. Hmm, I wonder why this one's popular though. Fun minion fact. Did you know the Gobwalker is one of those minions you actually have to craft yourself? And actually, how do you even craft this thing? Well, it turns out this is probably one of the more complex recipes in the entire game. You see, the first ingredient, the Gobwalker shielding, only comes from Alexander the Burden of the Father raid. The Garlean Steel Plate is an overworld drop from Vanguard minions. Glaze Nuts come from gardening. Aether Sand comes from ethereal reduction from a gathering material. And then you got the Stuffed Goblin, which is made from floss silk, which of course only comes from the housing ward vendors, which you trade a Voidrig for. Don't know what a Voidrig is? It's another gardening plant, of course, that takes a full day to grow. And then you got exquisite buttons, and not just one. No, you'll need two of these, which only comes from the treasure map side activity. And then boar leather, undyed felt, and linen yarn. But wait, why can't I craft this recipe? This recipe only shows up after you buy a master craftsman book, which you have to get through craft scripts. What? Uh, yeah, wh while that thing was going on, I was trying to figure out how to actually offload all these minions. I don't have the inventory space. I don't have the retainer space. So I decided to drop it all into other people's pockets. That's right, we're opening up a pop store. Limited time, baby. Everything must go. All right, now we should be listed on Party Finder. Where am I? No way, I'm actually on page two. And now we just wait, it's one gill. Wait, no way, we already got a customer. <laughs> wait, where's he going? All right, well, let's never speak of that. <gasps> A customer? Hold. 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 Come on, look at me. <gasps> He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. No, not that way. He's looking back at me. Uh... <gasps> An actual person. So I had people pick a number which correlates to the prize won. And after a full day, I'm so glad to say we managed to give away three. But I got a plan. That's right, it's time to take it on the road to the cities. Uh, we only managed to give a few away again. So, where's all the people? Where could I find the majority of the player base? Final Fantasy XIV has public player owned housing and when people want to throw a party, they go all out. They hire staff, they have events, games, and even live Twitch streams that host actual DJs. Players go all out and this attracts large audiences. So what better place to find people? But I'm not all too familiar with it. So I managed to secure a corner here. Let's just see how it goes. Anybody want to win free minions? Tonight, Craig Pink is hosting win. a mosh pit. Starting at 12 CST. We keep rolling until there's only one left. <laughs> Buy in is 100k. A a winner up. gets 10 million gil. Okay, so I can admit when I'm wrong. So in retrospective, might have not been the best idea. But shout out to that club because it looks like a ton of people were having fun. It just might have been a little too much for me to handle. New day, same problem. But 
The good news is our retainers are now a little bit lighter and so we can finally whack a few of these minions in there. I didn't realize how hard it'd be to give away stuff. I guess people just really want to give me their money. This is okay. And now that our inventory is a little bit cleaner, we can finally open up the next set. And I think it's finally time for the Stormblood Boxes. So what exactly are we looking for? Well, it turns out quite a lot. There's some big hits with a higher percent drop chance in theory than our version three containers. You see, the version three containers have 86 total items. And by us chasing the Knight Pegasus Whistle, we are effectively rolling for a one out of 86 drop, making it a 1.16% chance to get one. In addition, we don't know if there's waiting on rare items that could effectively lower the chance even further. Now for the version 4 containers, the story is a little different. You see, there are only 54 items contained in them, and we got multiple drops that can bring in millions of gil. We have 4 mounts, the dodo horn from heaven on high, you could think of them as the equivalent to the knight pegasus whistle for stormblood. Then you have the elthers and eurekan petrol horn, two mounts coming from rare chest rolls in eureka. Lastly, you got the flying chair, while not as rare, still brings in a good amount of change. But we cannot forget about the conditional virtue minion and the copycat bull minion, both again from Eureka. Let's just take the copycat bull minion as an example. How much do you think it's worth? 1 million? 2 million? 10 million? No, it's worth around 20 million gil. If there's a jackpot to hit, that's it. If we hit that, We'll get the Pegasus Whistle and change. Just from these items alone, we have six great hits, meaning we have a six out of 54 chance to actually get something amazing, which again, in theory, is an 11% chance per box. We have 100 containers, meaning we can make absolute bank if we get lucky. Oh, uh, that might be the worst drop. Okay, 99 more to go. Oh, no way. Fifth drop. Okay, we got to price check this immediately. Oh, three to four mil. Oh, I'm so relieved we got something good. I knew I had a good feeling, let's keep going. Now, as we continue to unbox these, just taking a moment to reflect on the near two year journey to collect all these mounts, I just feel a sense of excitement and almost a little bit of relief to be so close to the end. Of course, there will be more released in the future, but at least for this moment, you can enjoy the progress made. This is our first unbox set in total. We don't have enough room in our inventory for the rest of the boxes, so let me go ahead and fix that. Hold, please. So this is our retainer cell history. That's right, we just chucked in a ton of minions at one gill on the market board, and it looks like a few people managed to catch our flash sale, especially Norton here. That's quite the name. Okay, I'm stubborn. I can't give up on this idea. I'm trying to give away millions of gill. Why won't people take it? Okay, this cannot be more explicit. Literally giving away millions of gil worth of free minions. Please take them from me. Oh, we got our first player and I'm getting traded an egg. All right, it looks like the ad's working. All you have to do is sound desperate enough. Next customer. I don't know why, but they're asking for a refund. So have an egg. Excuse me, sir. Are you sure you're not money laundering? You know, at this point, I might as well be. And now we're getting traded a frog. This person want a Thancred? This is Thancred. All right, congratulations. That's another frog. I realized that giving away two minions at a time wasn't going to be fast enough. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and give away 10 minions to the next person. And then two people showed up. All right, and now I'm getting treated orange juice. I'm supposed to be giving away my trash. Why am I taking other people's? All right, the next person, let's have them pick 10 numbers. This is an example of the numbering system I used, and it'll be very important in a few seconds here. 
13. And we got 42. Okay. Then 69. Oh! oh my god. What what is the horn doing here? No! When did I do this? I swear I did not have it in there. Okay, so this is uh future you, you absolute clown. You moved the horn inside the giveaway section just to make room for the frogs. I mean, I could give them something else. No, we can't. They're trading me a mill back. Oh my goodness, this community. Okay, we may have lost a couple million in that one, but we can definitely just open up another one, right? Surely. It was the fraud's fault! Alright, I think it's time to resume. No way! <laughs> Didn't I say it was that easy? Alright, that's another cool 3 mil. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant 5 mil. No way, another mount. What is this luck? That's another flying chair. Alright, final one. And that's all the storm blood crates opened. This is our final haul. We opened 66 boxes here, and thanks to the petrol horn going up in price, we made 6,116,100 gil. So combined, all 100 Stormblood boxes, we opened 9,610,300 gil. And we're not done yet. Now I'm not gonna say it's been one month since I last played this game, but my retainer space is suddenly really empty, and I can put up a lot of minions up there so we can clean out our inventory again. And within this not month, look, we can finally trade in our totems. Now we are officially one mount from a full collection. Okay, so I was one mount away uh, four months ago and a new patch dropped with more mounts, but we managed to get the 100 totems needed for the extreme trial. So we're back to essentially one mount left. I need to end this thing right here, right now. Let's open the rest of these boxes. Is what I said 10 months ago. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's do this. Nothing. One zoo horn and a whole lot of nothing. I mean, look at this thing. What, what even is this? I need to do something to turn my luck around immediately. We are finally down to our last 20 boxes. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do this, but I think I have a plan. So I calculated that if I have a leprechaun, I'm in ill make, my chances of luck increase by 5%. And I'm getting desperate. I will take anything to help me get what I need. <laughs> almost made myself look like a fool with a misspelling error. Okay, so I wasn't able to find a leprechaun, but my friend came by to claim the gill. Now whether or not they actually look like a leprechaun is uh, questionable, but we take what we can get. was 19 boxes and nothing we are down to our final box and just before i open it i have one thing to do you know what i might have been doing this entirely wrong this entire time i've been focused on just increasing my luck you know what maybe i just need to swing the needle in the other direction salt in the inventory to spill check umbrella indoors Check. A black cat crossing my path. Check. Let that bad luck become our good luck. Let's toss this out of our inventory. Alright. This is it. This is the final box. Will I get the dream conclusion? A two year journey finished with an exclamation mark? Or will I be crushed by the gambling gods wasting a hundred hours chasing these boxes? It all comes down to this final one. Here it goes. 
Oh. Red! What the heck? This is a giant waste of time, man! I got a unicorn! We may not have gotten what we seeked, but this does not end our journey. We still have one final thing to do, because that was just plan A. <laughs> Introducing plan B. Nobody knows. Huh, it was a frog playing this the entire time. We are finally here, two years in the making, but no more time for tears. Let's get that final mount. It's finally done. Every single earnable mount in game in my collection. Let's take a look at this and <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, and our grand total for opening up every single loot box is 11,982,101 gil. We made basically 12 million gil off all the boxes. But our journey must come to an end. Even though it was a long journey and those loot boxes are indeed rigged, it really is all about the fun memories we had. I just lost 4 million gil. Dude, why am I at a nightclub? Oh, no way! But who's got time for reflection? Because Square Enix keeps adding more and more mounts. This time coming from... The Sanctuary Material Container item contains a random assortment of items, including Island Sanctuary mounts. Oh no. They added another loot box. 